Hi, and welcome to Mr. Toyama's CP World History. Today I'm going to be discussing with you how to use Kami, a PDF annotation program that's based inside of Chrome, to help us when we are getting PDFs in Google Classroom and be able to write all over them, type all over them, and turn them in through Google Classroom, saving you tons of paper. So first off, we're going to have to make sure we're using Chrome, not any other uh, web browser. And then we're going to go to the Google homepage, and then we're going to actually just type in K-A-M-I, Kami. Okay? It'll probably give you some places nearby, but what I want you to do is click on where it says KamiHQ.com. It's a free online document viewer. It's going to ask you to install Kami, to view, edit, annotate. You're going to click on install Kami. And then it's going to ask if you want to add the extension. You're going to click OK or add extension. You're going to give it a little bit of time to catch up. And then it will take you to the Kami website. And it's going to ask you if you want to sign in with Google, skip the step, log in or sign up with email. We're going to click on sign in with Google. Here's where you would type your uh, Google password and student account. So I'm student underscore two at my usd.org and then I'm going to put my password and it's going to ask if you would like to link your Chrome data to this account you're going to say link data and then it's going to ask you a couple questions saying would you like to allow uh, all this stuff to happen you're going to click OK or allow all right, so now it takes us back to the Google homepage, and here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to our classroom, here I made a test history class that we can practice on, and we have an assignment, so we're going to click on open. Here you'll see there's a PDF that I've posted, so I'm going to click on the PDF. Now normally this is how you would see your PDFs that I would assign, but what I want to do is have you go up to where it says open with, and it says connected apps, you're going to click on Kami. It'll open up another tab, and it's going to ask you to authorize Google Drive. Go ahead and allow, and now it's loaded the PDF. As you can see, it looks just like the PDF I actually uploaded. And now what you're going to do is you're going to look on the left hand side. There's a couple different tools I want to highlight. The first one is this one at the top. It's called highlight mode. You can click on it. It lets you pick different colors. I like yellow. So let's say I was going to have you annotate. You're going to highlight over some words. And as you can see, it's actually made it uh, yellow. So it's just like a highlighter would be on, a, uh, on your paper or a highlighter that you use on a pen. And then I'm going to scroll down, and you would, in our uh, guided reading, you're going to have to read the section, and then there's usually a question at the end of it asking you about the section you just read. So uh, for the first question, it says, what were the three factors leading to the war? On the left-hand side, there's another tool we're going to be using called the Add Text Mode. We're going to click on that, and then we're going to, it's going to give you the cursor that you would use in like Word, for example, and then it's going to click, and you'll have a text box. Here you can say the three factors leading to the first world war were, and then you'd answer your question. Oh, dot 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 dot. You'd answer your question, and then I want to kind of click off of it so I can highlight some things. As you can see up here, there's X. That means remove, if you want to remove uh, that text box that you've created. There is rotate, if you want to rotate it however you need to. There is a font, so if you want to make the font bigger or smaller. There is a paint can, which allows you to fill some of the things in the background. I'm actually going to fill it with uh, blue, for example, just so I can see it nicer. And then there's the text lettering, so if you want to change your letters to pink or whatever, I would suggest just sticking with black because it's simpler to read. And then there's this cursor that has like four different directions. What's interesting about this is you have to actually click on it and hold it, and then it lets you move the text box around. So if it's not perfectly lined up, you can move it around. If you want to resize what you were typing, you can move it with that blue dot on the side, making it larger or smaller. So now that you've done, let's say you finished the whole worksheet, 
You're going to go up here to the top right where it says export file, which is this arrow pointing at a box. You're going to click on that. And then it's going to ask, uh, where would you like to export? You're going to want to do it to Google Drive. And then it's going to give you some options. It's going to ask if you want to do the original with no annotations. It was going to ask you if you want to do annotations on top as a PDF file or annotations on the side. I want you to do annotations on top. Then you're going to click on begin export. It will take a couple minutes or seconds to process. And then it's going to say open in Google Drive. You click through to that. And now we have two different versions of our uh, guided reading. You can see here there's, when I changed it to the more uh, words instead of the preview version, there's the World History Guided Reading Student 2, which is P, which your name would be there where Student 2 is. And there's also the one that says Export. And if we click on the one that says Export, there's our annotation right there in blue. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to close this. And now that we know it's called Export, we're going to actually close this one as well. We're going to close out all the way back till we get to our Google Classroom. And what's going to happen is we're actually going to click on the X to remove it. And then we're going to click on Add from our Google Drive. And you're going to have to search for it since it's named Guided Reading. There's the uh, search option that pops up and you're going to click on the one that says Export. And now it's uploaded. And if you want to just double check before you turn it in, you can pull it up and scroll down. You can see I highlighted at the top. You can see the blue lettering that I did before. So we can close that. And then you're going to go ahead and add a private comment. This was so easy, like most things in my class. And you'll click Post. And then when you're all done and you're ready to turn it in, you're going to click Turn It In. It'll ask, are you sure you want to turn it in with the guided reading export? Make sure it says the export one and click turn in. And your assignment has been turned in down here on the left. And let's go ahead and go back to the main page and it shows done. So that's a simple way to be able to annotate and mark up some of the things that we're going to be uh, working with throughout the rest of this year. Uh, I hope this has been informational. If you have any questions, as always, please email me. Uh, but I'll see you guys in class. Thanks. Bye.